whatever it is you need to know about MT and Bushfire, I'm talking about none other than the MCs of the main stage. It is Anaconda and of course the ever so gorgeous people. They are here joining me to tell us more about their experience of the MT and Bushfire and of course I mean how they deal with having to command such a large large crowd guys welcome to the show what a lovely thank introduction you. thank you for having <laughs> us um, firstly I just want to ask the question that I've been wondering all day how do you deal with such a crowd I mean you guys have been doing it for a while um, but how do you deal with such a crowd MTN bushfire um, it's a big stage it's a huge crowd different people different backgrounds some people won't listen just like that but you can tell me um, first day with you and a concert. Wow, um, I'd say it's energy mm. more than anything else and um, it's just a bit of um, understanding the reciprocation of energy. It's obviously a lot of energy so you also have to bring a lot of energy but it's just, a, it's just about energies and, and, and that, this is, this is a great festival so people are in a good mood so, it's, so that, that's already a, a positive energy so it's just about you know, sharing that energy with, with, with the people. Righty, and for you, Pio? Yeah, I, I definitely agree with Konza. As you were asking the question, I was literally thinking energy. The energy is so different with the Bushfire audience. It's almost like we all kind of understand the mandate and, you know, the atmosphere here is so much different and we all understand this bring your fire mandate, the call to action for collective positive social change. We understand that, yes, we're here for fun, but it's not just entertainment for entertainment's sakes. And the eclectic program, of course, we understand that Bushfire is not just about mainstream artists. It's just a carefully curated program. So I think it's that, that deep understanding of, you know, what Bushfire is all about and kind of immersing ourselves in that and just wanting to enjoy every minute of it. I think the energy is always on point. I think yeah. also to add on that, yeah. also just our energy. I think we've got, we've got yeah. a great energy. Okay. Our synergy. Well yeah, which, 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 which carries, it carries us a lot. Yeah. And we're definitely loving that. Um, working together, can you just let us know how you prepared um, to be on that big stage to impress the masses, man? Starting with the lovely lady, of course. Okay, I'm going to be very honest, yeah. right? I'm not going to give like a PR kind you, of... You always are. I'm going to be very honest. Because Kwanzaa and I don't ever do like pre prep yeah. No, none of that. We don't even coordinate outfits, but get this. There have been moments when we're literally wearing almost like the same thing. Like tomorrow, <laughs> we might be kind of matchy-matchy and we didn't even plan it. I think it's just like when you work with each other, you understand what your strengths are. And Kwanzaa and I have a very good working relationship because we understand what our strengths are and um, what our weaknesses are maybe and we know how to kind of fill in the gaps and that's teamwork you know i think the teamwork is the most important thing because even though we don't like kind of prepare beforehand we will look at something and Kunza will say yeah this is perfect you do this and i'll look at something and say yeah you this announced this you, this is yeah. for you yeah All right. which i think kind of yeah i think i, I feel like i'm just here to sit and keep saying energy yeah. just keep energy. saying energy because energy, energy. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny we spoke about our energy in the <laughs> first question and then our energy, energy comes up now, in the second right? yeah. <laughs> and getting into this um it takes a lot of research it takes a lot of you need to think on the spot. Sometimes, does it happen for you that maybe when an artist is coming up, maybe you forget that day they have so and so um, awards, but how do you deal with the pressure of having to compile so much research and remember each and everything on that stage? I mean, I'd be so intimidated. I look into someone, I'm intimidated by the two of you right now because I feel like I have to impress two people and it's hard for me. But you do it for like thousands and thousands of people. How do you deal with the pressure? First of all, you intimidate easily. <laughs> There's actually about that? nothing for you to be intimidated about. Yeah. But um, I think more than anything else, um, it's really just... Um, firstly, before I even say anything, it is a stressful weekend. It is a, it is a very stressful weekend. But you also have an entire year to prepare for it. Yeah. Uh, because preparations for this festival are, are year long. It's not exactly something that happens overnight or over a weekend. And then, you know, you, you, you also lean on, on the experience that you have. Because coming into this, you had been in the space uh, before. So, you know, you understand that uh, standing in front of people and speaking to people, you, you have to, you know, be informed about what you're speaking about. Yeah. So I think just, just all of these little pieces falling together and then you get a good uh, a partner, a co-host yeah. to work with. These are all the things. And a, and a great team around Bushfire that supports you yeah. and, and, and what, you know, all the, all, all the little pieces 
cogs that come into place for this whole machinery to, to function the way that it does. It, it just helps you do what you do at, at the highest level. I think it's our, both of us have a very strong work ethic yeah. and we take our work very seriously. I think any assignments we're given, we literally do the work. So with, you'll find us backstage, you, I mean, when we're not walking around the festival trying to get a feel of, you know, what's happening, we're literally backstage reading up on bios, we're reading up on the festival sponsors and partners and trying to make sure that we um, reflect, you know, what we're supposed to reflect and that we present everyone in the best possible light. So with, in terms of like things like forgetting things, I think we really take it seriously. So we do our research, we read, and sometimes you'll get like a yeah. long, why are you lying? <laughs> I, was, I was about to be well, honest, I was about to say I forget stuff sometimes. Yeah. No. <laughs> This is, what happened. No, so. this is what happened and this is the trick that you taught me when we first MC together. You can't read the whole bio. Yeah. You can't go up there and mention every accolade that an mm, artist had. True. But you can pick out, highlight the important ones. And from there, you know, just make sure that you highlight the things that represent them best. So we won't, we can't get there and be like, your whole life story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't work. <laughs> and just moving on, we have seen many different artists um, on that stage. And I can definitely say none have disappointed from the amphitheater to right, the main stage right. to the um, Valentine's Firefly stage. Everything is excellent to the T. Um, what can you say your, your favorite performances were, were? I mean, you were maybe watching them from the back of the stage. You didn't get a feel from the front, but you can you definitely have a performance, um, a favorite performance. It is day two. You've seen a lot. Mina, you, my voice, you can hear. <laughs> Nasty C, went C with my voice. <laughs> what, is, what are your favorite performances? Okay, I'll start locally. Yeah. Last night, mm. I was blown away by Masterpiece sets. Mm. It was my first time seeing him um, perform, and I was like, what? He's mixing dance hall with I'm a piano, and I'm like, what? Yeah. That was, I, I'm telling you that he had, that's a man who has mastered his craft, for real. And I was just really impressed by that. And of course, I think I enjoyed um, the one who sings nasty C okay it helped that I mean I know every rap song almost yeah. of his so I was out here <laughs> you know uh, oh and today Manana <gasps> oh, oh my how yeah. good was Manana and poor Sabina I, I love poor Sabina yeah. I've been looking forward to watching her uh, everyone Nova Youth Choir just killed it I'm just in love with the whole program from start to finish but I'd say those are the ones that have stood out for me so far um, for me, um, I'd say I really, I, I really liked what uh, Courtesy and, 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 and King Terry did yes. yesterday. That was great. Play, it was, yeah. it was very high energy. Um, it really tore the amphitheater up. Um, uh, who else did I like? Um, uh, oh, remember the, the first performance sings? in the amphitheater? Right? You even went and sat on the floor. Remember, yeah. right. it was Rue from the um, sorry, was the it Aura? Aura, I think. Yes. From Auras. the Aura, yes. from the Reunion Islands. Oh my oh, gosh, yes, they were yes, so yes. good. They were great. They were great. Um, Sooks in the Firefly stage. Oh, listen, it's gonna be. So we're just gonna you, go you on and on. Had an opportunity to experience yes. all the stages. I'd actually think maybe you stay behind the whole time and wait to jump no. on. But it's lovely that you go around collecting different energies yeah. because nothing lets us down here. Nothing has let us down off here as well. Um, just moving on, you know, Makaya, young people that want to do what you guys are doing. They want to be on big stages like you guys. Um, MTN Bushfire, just to name one because you were already here. Um, what can you say to them? What steps do you have to take to being this person? What confidence do you need to acquire in order to be this great person, MC? To be chosen. Let's start with the legends. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with the legends. Yeah. Oh, man. I'd say. I'd say definitely an education. Mm. You definitely have to have an education because we are speaking in our second language. Yes. English is not our first language. Yes. And you're speaking to an international audience at an yeah. event like this. So you have to have some form of education, a good grasp of the language, um, a good grasp of general knowledge. So you just have to be somebody that just likes learning things. Mm. And then it's just a matter of positioning yourself um, where you will most be useful, uh, which is 
funny enough a conversation we were just having a few minutes ago about um, with a few friends here of how people actually ended up at Bushfire. Mm. Then it just becomes a matter of positioning yourself uh, as close and, 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 and as possible as, as you can be to your dream. Mm. So whether you study it or you hang around people that are already doing it, and then you, you'll build your confidence, of course, as, 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 as you get older at doing it and, and, and you get better. Okay. I'd say um, you need to expose yourself to the very thing that you want to do. If you want to be an MC, you need to get speaking. Yeah. Speak, speak, speak. Any opportunity you have to speak, grab it, use it. Be it a family function, could be a church, you know, event. It could be any opportunity to address an audience because that's how you grow. You have to hone and polish that craft. And the only way you can do it is to speak. And I really support the education um, aspect of it, but also doing your research. If you're given an assignment, this is an assignment for us. You need to do your research. Ask the organizers, what is your mandate? What are your objectives for hosting this event? And then try to align with that. Okay, um, thank you very much for joining us. Unfortunately, our time has run out, but all the best for tonight. We do hope that you continue to lead us gracefully, man. We have enjoyed this. I mean, hearing your voices from any corner of this place, it's definitely amazing. You were doing amazing. Thank you so, so much for joining us. You're Thank you, Bello. Thank, Thank you. you. And you are amazing. <laughs> and those who are the MCs of the main stage, um, they are bringing energy for sure. I can definitely feel it. They have brought it here to the couches. And I'm saying, even if this couch is not here next year, I am not here next year. I hope they will be here next year because they have definitely reignited the fire. And speaking of fire, we will definitely head over to the stage so we can see Kutilumlilo. When they are done, let's stage. Let's head over to the stage.